Hi, everybody. Welcome to Getting the Most Out of Your Library Using the Libby App. My name is Liz Kavoda. I am the Instruction and Outreach Librarian at the University of Michigan Flint Thompson Library. And today we're going to be talking about, again, the Libby App, which is a app that enables you to connect to either or a library, basically, collection and see a whole host of audiobooks and ebooks that are available through that app. Um, a lot of public libraries use them in in our area, both Flip Public Library and Genesee District Library have subscriptions to Overdrive, which is the company um, that the Libby, the Libby app is for, as well. And then the University of Michigan has one too. So you can actually have multiple cards on the Libby app. So let's take a look and show you actually what you're going to be looking at. So I'm going to share my screen here. All right. So um, you will need to download the Libby app from either the App Store or Google Play Store, how it would, depending on what kind of device you have. Once you've installed it, um, you're going to want to add libraries. So right now, this is kind of your shelf, basically, which is, we'll see where you, if you have any loans out, if you have a hold on anything. So for example, I'm waiting on a hold for an audiobook from the Foot Public Library right now. Um, the little book icon over here, this is where, that's the, your shelf icon there. The central icon with these kind of three um, horizontal lines, this is where you actually are going to kind of control um, and set the settings for the app. So for example, if I want to go in and add a library, I simply click on add library and then either search for it, University of Michigan will come up. Um, since I actually had the University of Michigan on earlier, um, it's kind of remembering that I had it. So I can actually just click that there. And then it will ask you to sign in with your card. So if you have this through a public library, you'll actually need to look at your card number or you know maybe sign in with the account that you have set up through your public library. With the University of Michigan, you're simply using um, your unique name and password, same thing you would use to get into any of the other uh, resources that are you have through the library. So let me... type in my password really quickly here. And of course, along with everything else, it's going to ask you to do the dual login here. Okay, but once you log in, you'll be taken uh, again to that kind of central area where you can see your card. Um, and then it will automatically, once you add your card, it will automatically take you to the libraries page that you just added in. So again, that's gonna be the little um, kind of house icon down at the bottom of the app. Now, once you're in here, um, Libby is uh, organized in a couple of different ways. You'll see just added and most popular typically towards the top. And then librarians um, can actually kind of uh, create different lists that you're looking for. So for example, in this case, uh, the, the University of Michigan Library has librarians have put together a title list of banned books. And these are going to be both audiobooks and ebooks. So you can tell an audiobook by it will always have kind of a duration. Um, so seven hours, the nine hours, the six hours that you're seeing for things like 13 Reasons Why and Eleanor Park, those are all down there. Anything without that kind of duration note under it is going to be an ebook. Now, you can listen to, you should listen to the audiobooks pretty much through this app. But for ebooks, you have the option of either reading the, the ebook on the app or downloading it to your Kindle. Per personally, I um, suggest reading it on the app because if you download it to your Kindle, um, it will kind of, after the after your loan expires, the book will just kind of sit there. Um, it won't, but you won't be able to access it. So, so you'll be able to see it, but you won't be able to access it. And you'll actually have to log into your Amazon account in order to remove the book from your Libby. So my preference is just to read it on the app, but again, I don't actually have like a back or like a paper white Kindle or anything else. So I'm definitely like reading on a screen anyway. So it's kind of up to you. But um, this is how you would go ahead and search for things. So say for example, I uh, wanted to try to listen to Happy Place by Emily Henry. Um, I can either place a hold or play a sample. If this um, book is available, it will actually say borrow instead. So I'm going to go back here and then scroll up to, um, and actually I can see what's most popular or what's available now as well. And you can also even filter like if you want an audiobook or a version of the book. So I'm going to choose audiobook again. And so say I wanted to let's see, what haven't I listened to? 
too. We'll borrow some Mexican Gothic here. Okay. Um, and there will be a couple of different um, kind of uh, limits on your link here. So you can only borrow up to three items from a time through the University of Michigan, but you can have holds on up to 10. And the borrowing limit that they've put for things is 21 days. This might change again, depending on what the title is, depending on how we've kind of built this up. Um, and again, you could keep browsing to add things or you could go to your shelf and you'll see that now I have an audiobook on my shelf, okay? To switch between these to say, if I wanted to go to the public library, all I'd have to do is hit that central um, kind of three horizontal bar icon and then go back over here and then say, if I wanted to, again, look at Wilder Girls by Roy Power, I can borrow again. And you'll see that Flint has a slightly different options here. So you're borrowing, um, you can borrow up to six books or six books at a time. You still have, can have that holds up to 10 and you're still borrowing for those 21 days. So I can borrow there. And again, going to shelf, you'll be able to see it here. Um, so Libby is really easy to use. All you do is like open an audiobook. You can sync this with Bluetooth devices as well, which is really nice. Um, so highly recommend checking this out, especially with those breaks coming forward or any long road trips over the holiday season. Uh, so good luck and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this recorded webinar. Find upcoming webinars to register for at libcal.umflint.edu.